I, Vedic Sethi, and I, Priyanshi Chatur, extend a heartly welcome to you. With national pride and fervor in our heart, we wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Let us start this ceremony by remembering the Almighty. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, the knowledge is free. Where the world has not been broken up, segments by narrow domestic walls. The words come out from the depth of truth. The tireless striving stretches its arm towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way. The desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by the widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom. My father, let my country awake. Republic Day is a historic day in the Indian history. It is when the dream, the vision, the hard work of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar and other team members, our constitution finally came into effect. The Indian constitution is a ray of hope, where H stands for harmony, O for opportunity, P for people's participation, and E indicates equality. I now invite Abhyudhya Sachdeva to present a speech to this virtual gathering. Good morning, everyone. Constitution is not a mere lawyer's document. It is a vehicle of life, and its spirit is always the spirit of age. The entire nation is lit up in tricolor to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day. It is not just another national holiday. It's the feeling of honor, as it was on this day in 1930, the Indian National Congress proclaimed a demand for complete independence in the Lahore session. After that, on the same day in 1950, our constitution came into effect. The day when the whole country is laced with tricolors conveys the message of unity in diversity. Back then in 1930, our great leaders started drafting our constitution. I mean, much before we gained independence. This shows how far-sighted they were. It's because of their struggle that today we are living in a democratic country where each citizen has right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and education, educational rights, right to privacy and whatnot. Today is the day to reaffirm our commitment to unity and diversity, fraternity and equality among all our citizens. I would like to wind up my speech thanking the great leaders and freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives so that we can live in a democratic and a beautiful nation built by great people for great people. Thank you all again for giving me an opportunity to speak in front of you all. Jai Hind. Thank you, Abhyadeh, for throwing light on the significance of Republic Day. Let us move ahead to feel the pride that lies being an Indian through an instrumental music performance on the ever so, so lovely song Ma Tujhe Salam by Girikshit Sharma. Thank you. 
I thank Dirikshit for sharing this beautiful performance and reviving the patriotic spirit in our hearts. As Bhagat Singh said, and I quote, Moshira's criticism and independent thinking are the two necessary traits of revolutionaries. Lovers, lunatics, and poets are made of the same stuff. Shivi Bansal is here to recite a thoughtful poem, Hind Ki Awaz by Prerna Srivastavar. Suprabhat, Gantantrita Divas 2022. Aaj ki meri kavita ka shirshak hai, Hind Ki Awaz. अपनी सालगिरह के अवसर पर भारतीय संविधान ने पुकार लगाई देशवासियों तिहत्तर साल में या आपने मेरा कितना सुंदर बदलाव किया तीन रंगों से मेरे अस्तित्व का ये कितना सुंदर श्रृंगार किया 26 जनवरी 1950 को जब सबने मिलकर संकल्प लिया था 26 जनवरी 1950 को जब सबने मिलकर संकल्प लिया था लोकतंत्र एक है तब सबने यही निश्चित किया था तो आज तिहत्तर सालों बाद भी आप सब क्यों भगवे हरी की जंग लड़ रहे हैं 26 को सब सहा हमने लेकिन क्यों 27 को सब मर रहे हैं और जब भारतीय संविधान ने आप सबको दिए वही अधिकार है न समझा कोई भेद है तो देश धर्म निभाने में आपको ये कैसा खेद है हिंद के जवानों ने हमारे लिए सुखद जीवन का अरमान छोड़ दिया देश के किसानों ने हमारे लिए हर अभिमान को तोड़ दिया लेकिन जब देशवासी भूले अपना ही देश धर्म तो भारत मां ने अपनी ही आवाम को खो दिया तो मैं आज भारत का संविधान आपको बस इतना ही कहता हूं कि जिस अधिकार से आप भारतीय होने का गौरव दिखाते हैं उसी उसी अधिकार से भारत की प्रतिष्ठा की रक्षा का प्रण लेना और उसी राह पर चलते रहना धन्यवाद जय हिंद थैंक यू शिवी फॉर शेयरिंग दिस ब्यूटीफुल पीस द एंथुजियाजम एंड एनर्जी ऑफ अ ब्लूमिंग फ्लावर cannot be ignored on this day let us enjoy a dance performance by our talented tejasvi khandelwal such a wonderful video i can feel the same energy within me to add to the celebration of the great indian pride now almiza would like to share some beautiful lines on republic day good morning the title of my poem is the gift of india by sarojini naidu is there aught you need that my hands withhold rich gifts of raiment a grain of gold lo i have flung to the east and west priceless treasures torn from my breast and yielded the sons of my stricken womb to the drum beats of duty the sabers of doom gathered like pearls in their alien graves 
silent they sleep by the Persian waves, scattered like shells on Egyptian sands. They lie with pale brows and brave broken hands. They are strewn like blossoms mown down by a chance on the blood brown meadows of Flanders and France. Can ye measure the grief of the tears I weep or the compass, the, the wow of the watch I keep or the pride that thrills through my heart's despair and the hope that comforts the anguish of prayer. And the far sad glorious vision I see of the torn red banners of victory when the terror and tumult of hate shall cease and life be refashioned on anvils of peace, and your love shall offer memorial thanks to the comrades who fought in your dauntless ranks, and you honor the deeds of the deathless ones, remember the blood of my martyred sons. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anuza. The eternal flame at the Amar Jawan Jyoti underneath India Gate an iconic symbol of the nation's tributes to its soldiers who died for the country. As a part of ceremony, the Amar Jawan Jyoti flame at India Gate was merged with the eternal flame at the National War Memorial in Delhi. The flame is a symbol of immortality of the spirit of the fallen soldiers and a mark that the country will not forget their sacrifice. Let's watch a short glimpse showcasing this. वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू है वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू है वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू मैं जहां रहूं जहां मैं याद रहे तू मैं जहां रहूं जहां मैं याद रहे तू है वतन मेरे वतन तू ही मेरी मंजिल है पहचान तुझी से तू ही मेरी मंजिल है पहचान तुझी से पहुँचू मैं जहाँ भी मेरी बुनियाद रहे तू पहुँचू मैं जहाँ भी मेरी बुनियाद रहे तू मैं वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू मैं जहाँ रहूँ जहाँ I now invite Honorable Madam Principal Ms. Urvashi Warman to enlighten this virtual gathering with her words of wisdom on the occasion of the 73rd Indian Republic Day. Good morning, everybody, and greetings once again on the 73rd Republic Day of our country. This uh, Republic Day is indeed very special because uh, this year we are also celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. And uh, as we complete 75 years of our independence in uh, August, so the government has declared this to be a very, very special year. And I think you can see that a lot of special events are taking place. You just saw on uh, Subhash Chandra Bose's Jenti, his uh, hologram, uh, the statue was uh, inaugurated. And uh, then of course, now we have the National War Memorial, which was built in 2019, it came up. But this iconic moment, which you just showed us in this wonderful video, wherein the flame of uh, India Gate was uh, taken, the Amar Jawan Jyoti from India Gate was taken and it was merged with the flame which was there in National War Memorial. So now, uh, I don't know how many of you would know about why this happened and what was the significance of uh, this uh, iconic moment. 
So um, I also did a little bit of research because actually it was a historic moment. What we just saw in the video was really a historic moment. So I just uh, jotted down a few notes I'd like to share with you. So it says the India Gate, it was actually known as the All India War Memorial, was built by the British in 1931. It was erected as a memorial to around 90,000 Indian soldiers of the British Indian Army who had died in several wars and campaigns till then. Uh, basically, I think it was relegated to the world wars. The inscription on the monument, that is an India gate, it reads, to the dead of the Indian armies who fell and are honored in France and Flanders, Mesopotamia, and Persia, East Africa, Gallipoli, and elsewhere in the near and the far east, and in sacred memory also of those whose names are here recorded and who fell in India or the Northwest frontier and during the third Afghan war. So this is the inscription which is there on India gate and names of more than 13,000 dead soldiers are mentioned on the memorial commemorating them. So that is uh, how India gate came up. And as it was a memorial for the Indian soldiers killed in war. So the Amar Jawan Jyoti was established underneath it by the government in 1972 to mark India's victory over Pakistan in the 1971 war, which resulted in the creation of Bangladesh. So the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhiji had inaugurated on Republic Day 1972 after India defeated Pakistan. So that is how it started, you know, the Amar Jawan Jyoti. So now for past, I think, 50 years, this flame of Amar Jawan Jyoti has never been extinguished even for a single day. So uh, there are four burners which would burn in Amar Jawan Jyoti. So on all regular days, a single burner would be there, but on very special occasions like the Republic Day and other days, all four burners would be, uh, uh, would be uh, put uh, to flame. But it has long been felt that India Gate is a symbol of our colonial past. And the names of all Indian martyrs from all the wars, including 1971, uh, and, and it was paying homage to those who had died in uh, probably the names that were inscribed were those who had died in the World War. And uh, of course, the flame was there for the 1971 war. But what about all the other soldiers, all the martyrs, all those who have laid down their life for the country after that, or even before that, in the 1962 war with China? What about those? So this was what has been in the mind of, uh, you know, the, the governments and the bureaucrats, and especially the defense personnel, they said that we need a war memorial that comprehensively pays homage to all the fallen soldiers. So then that is why they said that we need a national war memorial uh, to pay a true tribute to have the flame playing tribute to martyrs, all the martyrs that who have laid down their lives so far. So defense establishment officials said that once the national war memorial came up in 2009, Indian political and military leaders and foreign dignitaries, now they pay their tributes to the fallen soldiers at the National War Memorial. Earlier it used to happen at Amar Jawan Jyoti, but now it is happening at uh, this National War Memorial. And so it was felt that two flames were not needed. So it is better that now have one flame at a place which is paying homage to all the fallen heroes. So it's a, it's a very um, uh, impressive uh, thing, uh, place to visit if you happen to go to Delhi. And uh, of course, if you cannot travel these days because of the pandemic, so you must visit the site of the National War Memorial, the official site of National War Memorial, wherein if you log in, you can uh, pay digital homage to all the fallen heroes. And you can even ask for a change of guard. It is very interesting what has happened. And so do try it, do log in and uh, pay your homage. And today I think is a good day to do it. So it will be a very, very uh, interesting experience for you. And of course, uh, your bit as a citizen to thank all those because of whom we are living safely today. So I, I hope that you all do it. So I don't know how many of you know, uh, which are the days which are earmarked, uh, especially where the prime minister or the president and the chief of the defense staff, they go and they pay homage uh, to the fallen soldiers. Is anybody aware which are the days on which it happens? Yes, Pushkar? 
Ma'am, I'll just ask him to mute himself. He won't be able to mute himself okay. automatically. Okay. Just mm -hmm. one minute. Okay, Pushkar Pratap Singh. All right, Pushkar, now you can unmute yourself. I asked him to unmute himself. Oh, he had mm, he had left the meeting by mistake. Oh, okay. He's joining back now. Okay. Has he joined? Yes, ma'am, he has. But he hasn't been able to join properly. His audio is still connecting. Um, we'll wait for him to join. Yes, ma'am. So a lot of uh, events by the time, uh, you know, till the time Pushkar joins, uh, a your teachers uh, would have shared so many events uh, coming in from CBSC till now, and more will be shared with you in coming future. So I do hope that you take the time out to participate in those events because they are specially, they have been specially designed to celebrate Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. And I think uh, that's another way for us to celebrate this momentous time in history. So what else can we do as uh, students or teachers, except that whatever little we can do to celebrate the spirit of freedom that we have within us and to pledge that we will do all our best to maintain all that our country stands for. So has he joined? Yes, ma'am, he has, and I have asked him to unmute himself. Pushkar, you can unmute yourself and speak now. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, that are Independence Day and Republic Day and Soldiers Day. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm so glad you said and that. And ma'am, Martin's Day also. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right, yes. So uh, Republic Day, 26 January, the Prime Minister visits, while on Independence Day, the President visits. And on both the occasions, the Prime Minister and Presidents are accompanied by the Chief of Defence Staff and the Tri-Service uh, Chief of Staff. So they are there. Then they also visit uh, uh, to pay their homage on the Armed Forces Service Days, which is on 8th and 27th October and on 4th December. So on the respective days of establishment of the tri services, army chief, the Navy chief and the Air Force chief, they collectively visit, uh, they used to visit the Amar Jawan Jyoti. Now, of course, they'll be visiting the National War Memorial to pay their homage to the fallen heroes. And they also visit this place on the Armed Forces Flag Day, that is on 7th December. The CDS accompanied by the three chief of staffs, they collectively visit Kargil Vijay Divas, 26 July, they celebrate the mission Vijay during Kargil War in 1999. Then, of course, Vijay Divas, 16th December, celebration of victory of Indian troops over Pakistan. So these are the special days on which the chief of the army staff and uh, they, they pay their respect to all the fallen heroes. And as I said, you can also do it. You can do now pay a digital homage to these soldiers by visiting the National War Memorial official website. So I hope that uh, you do it. And uh, why we have spoken about it uh, today uh, is because, as I said, this has been a momentous occasion and a very, very important thing that has happened, celebrating the 75 years of India's independence. So it's happened right before our Republic Day, the merging of the two flames. So it holds a lot of significance, historic significance. So it will be nice if you read up more about it. There are some wonderful videos which have been shared by the government uh, on this occasion. A few of them we'll be sharing on our social media uh, handles also. So uh, that is how it is. So, and uh, looking forward that you as students are going to take care of your country and make sure that the secular ethos of our country is not disturbed. And that we do a little whatever best we can do to maintain peace and harmony and make sure that we are having peaceful coexistence amongst us. And the most important thing that you can do and probably ask your family members to do is, it's a very small thing, but it's very important. Please do not forward videos which spread hate. If you receive 
it from anywhere or if your family members receives it from anywhere, just delete it. You have to understand that in this day and age, a world war is happening. Literally, the third world war is happening through social media. And these are the divisive forces at work which are trying to uh, spread, you know, which is trying to destroy the fabric of unity and unity and diversity that we have of our country because that is what weakens our country. We don't realize it. It is made to look very political. It is made to look very specific to certain religious circles, but actually these are just divisive forces of work. Half the things you see on social media, half the things you see um, on WhatsApp, all the, 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 the gory and terrible videos which come to you, I think by now you also know it's not difficult to make such videos. Most of them are false. You understand? They are all shot. They're all shot and then they're circulated in the name of uh, stating that this happened at such and such time. But 99% of them are false and they have specially been circulated in the country so that the environment of our country gets disturbed. So this very, very important thing that you should do, and please talk to your family members also, do not strengthen the hands of all the divisive forces by forwarding mindlessly any such posts or news or videos which harm the unity and harmony of our country. I hope you will do that, right? All right. Thank you so much. And uh, I wish you all a very, very happy Republic Day once again. Right? Jai Bharat, Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am, for always being a guiding light. I'd like to conclude today's ceremony with a reminder. All of us here, we are all Indians firstly and lastly. Together, let us all become better and responsible citizens. We wish you a very happy Republic Day once again. Let's be the change we wish to see. We extend a heartful gratitude to each one of you gracing this virtual celebration with your presence. Before we all exit this online ceremony, we have something to share. What the nation is to its citizens, a school is to its students. The pandemic has made us all sit home and all of us surely go miss going to school the most. Each day at school, offline was a day of joy, learnings and a lot more. And the best time were the celebrations we all did. The council has prepared a short video with a few memories from the past Republic Day celebrations. Let's watch the lovely memories and relive the beautiful times. I just want to say before you uh, play it, we had the unfurling happen here offline. And uh, while doing the unfurling of the flag today, I actually felt so sad that none of you were there. The teachers were not there. The students were not there. And school is just not a school without all of you. So I'm really looking forward to see all of you back again. Let's see the video. Sound coming. Love we it. hope you liked it. We sincerely thank Principal Ma'am and all our teachers for making us the best versions of ourselves and for giving the council an opportunity to conduct the ceremony. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. We now request you to exit the meeting.
Well done. Well conducted. Thank you.